So we're going to do now femoral triangle block in a patient who is having a total knee replacement surgery. So let's examine the anatomy. The transducer is placed on the medial aspect of the leg, and our initial goal is to visualize the femoral artery and the femoral vessels, vessels that surround it. On top of the femoral artery, what we see is a torius muscle, and underneath we see two femoral veins. So let's now define the borders between the femoral triangle and the adductor canal. As we move the transducer more posteriorly and proximally, what we see here is the sartorius muscle and adductor longus muscle form a certain triangle. At that point where they form a triangle, it's the limit of the adductor canal. As we go more proximal, we can see how adductor longus muscle becomes bigger. And then as we trace more proximally, we can see the femoral artery and the femoral vessels and the saphenous nerve anterior to it in the femoral triangle. So this here would be posterior. This here on the screen would be anterior. And again, this is a sartorius muscle, femoral artery in the femoral vein, and that is the saphenous nerve in the femoral triangle. Insertion of the needle here is in plane. And here we can see how the needle approaches the femoral triangle. It goes through sartorius muscle. Now we are about to breach the posterior fascia of the sartorius muscle, we could actually see a distinct pop as the needle entered the femoral triangle. Twitch is absent, aspiration is negative, and injection is with no high opening pressure. Here we can see the local anesthetic, how it disperses in the femoral triangle. It actually pushes the saphenous nerve away by the local anesthetic that has been injected into the triangle. The local anesthetic, of course, tracks proximally, which we can determine that now by tracking more proximally. You can see how far the local anesthetic in the triangle reaches up and baits the whatever remains of the femoral nerve. In this case, mostly it's the uh, saphenous nerve, but we also see a branch to the vastus medialis muscle over here as well. As we go a bit more distally, again, we follow the femoral triangle and a massive spread of the local anesthetic with anesthetic that anesthetizes everything that is in it. And here we can see only the saphenous nerve primarily. And again, even if you stop there, even if this far distance, local anesthetic will spread. So we're going to use 10 milliliters of local anesthetic when the spread is adequate. That comprises the femoral triangle block. Make sure you subscribe to Nisora YouTube channel and never miss the beat.